Hello, this is Ahura again and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about trading volume strategies and indicators. Stay with us. Trading volume is a measure of how much of given financial assets has traded in a period of time. For stocks, volume is measured in a number of traded shares. For futures and options, it is based on how many contracts have changed hands. The numbers and other indicators that use volume data are often provided with online charts. Looking at the volume patterns over the time can help get the sense of the strength of conviction behind advance and decline in specific stocks and or entire markets. In fact, volume plays an important role in technical analysis among the key technical indicators. Let's go more detail and see how exactly volume indicators work in our trades. So, in a more detail, we want to talk about the volume indicator and how it's usually affects in our trades. Uh, when you have your chart, under your chart, if you are using the volume indicator, you can see some lines under your chart. It can be the color is no matter, you can uh, change the color on what you want. Let's say here, uh, when the price is when the uh, volume is raising is blue and the red is when the volume is decreasing this decreasing or increasing volumes in a very small time frames i mean in a very small like in a minute but when we are looking at the overall we have to check the overall uh, the strength of the top, that overall high or uh, how much it's increasing the overall this if you connect the line on above this lines uh, just to connect the higher the higher highs if it's increasing it means that the volume is increasing or, or if it's decreasing it means that the volume is decreasing you can see it so clearly with your eyes you don't need to do anything else than just look at this slides so this is the volume uh, indicator how you can see that in your chart but what does it mean but what what does it mean in the trades Let's say uh, we have this chart. Let's say that we have been, we can talk about. It. I will tell you exactly in uptrend. How, what does it mean in uptrend? What does it mean in a downtrend and in a range trading? Uh, when you have the uptrend, let's say this is your clear. Let's say this. We have a clear uptrend here. Uh, this is your asset price increasing, and you have a clear uptrend here. Your trend is going up. It's a bullish trend. And at the same time, the volume in the market is increasing. This is the, let's say, this is the in volume of the market. And this volume is increasing. If your trend is a high, is, is, if you're in an uptrend, your, your price is increasing. And at the same time, the volume of market is also increasing. It means that the volume, let's say that the volume and trend. If the volume is increasing and trend also increasing, trend increasing is we are in uptrend and the volume increasing. It means that your trend has enough power to go forward. Your trend can continue its way. So increasing volume, increasing trend. Your trend, say that like this. If your volume is increasing and at the same time you are in an uptrend, it means that your trend has enough power to continue its way. But if you're, you, have in a up, you are in an uptrend, you are in a clear uptrend, but at the same time the market volume is decreasing. And market volume is decreasing. So the trend is higher, the price is raising in a chart, but your volume is decreasing. If the price is, if the volume is decreasing, but you are in an uptrend, it means that your trend doesn't have enough power. It means continue. It means continue. So, if you say that here is the continue. So, if your trend is, you are in an uptrend, and your volume is decreasing, it means that your trend doesn't have enough power to continue the wave. So, it probably will change. The trend is going to be. It can be the sign that possible changing the trend. This is the same. It, it's exactly the same in downtrends. So let's say that you are in a downtrend. You are in a clear downtrend. Your ass is moving lower. 
if you're in a downtrend and your volume is in decreasing, like here, so the volume is decreasing, you're in a downtrend. If you're in a downtrend and your volume is decreasing, it's, again, your uh, trend doesn't have enough power to continue, enough strength to continue its way. So it's changing signal. It means that your trend is trying to change. Your trend can change soon. But if you have downtrend, if you have downtrend, but your volume is increasing, oops. So I think it's not working anymore. So if you are in a downtrend, but your volume is increasing, you are in a clear downtrend, but your volume is increasing more, higher and higher. So downtrend and increasing volume, it means that there, the sellers are still in the market. It means that your trend has enough strength to continue its way. Still there are the sellers and you are in a clear downtrend, clear downtrend and volume is increasing, volume is increasing, downtrend. When you are in increasing volume but in a downtrend, it means that your trend has enough power to continue its way. So you can still sell and, or if you have a sell in the market, you can stay, still stay and hold your position. But let's go to next step. It was the very basic, uh, uh, I mean, the basic points of point of view in the, uh, for the market's uh, volume and the trend. But what if you have, you're in a downtrend, let's say that you're in a downtrend, just like this. You're in a downtrend, but in a downtrend and your market volume also in, increasing, normally. You are in a downtrend and your market volume also increasing normally. It means that your trend is can your, your trend can continue its way. But in a downtrend, suddenly you see that there are price, they're here, the price has started to side movement and a little bit increasing. If you see that, check the market volume. If at the same time your market volume started to jump and like increase suddenly. Like, like a bit more than usual, like if it's usually increasing by this volume, if suddenly it starts to increase, to increase more, while you have your price that moves side movement or started to increase in a clear downtrend. It means that your trend here is, you have a possibility of changing the trend. It's exactly the same in an uptrend. I mean, it's exactly vice versa in an uptrend. If you are in an uptrend, if you are in a clear uptrend and in a clear uptrend your, uh, your market volume also increasing normally so it means that your uptrend can continue its way but in uptrend then you see that your price started in side movement or slowly decreasing not even, I mean the here the trend is not changing yet but still the trend didn't change still we are in the uptrend but the price started decreasing and here you see the market volume start jumping, increasing suddenly. It means that your uptrend is trying to, trying and it's getting ready to change the way, to change the trend and start to going in a downtrend. This is another sign of how, what is the relation between the volume and possibility of changing the market. We have another sign. There is, market has another sign as well, then it, it wants to change the trend. Then you are, let's say like this, when, uh, when you're trying, when, when, when you have the uptrend, for example, doesn't, here it's not, it's, this one, it doesn't matter if you are in the uptrend or downtrend, like same as before. When you are in the uptrend, normal uptrend, but Suddenly, you see that the market volume, that you see that the price is changing so fast. The price is changing so fast, or it doesn't matter if it goes up or it goes down. So it can be like this as well. In an uptrend, and the price in a side movement started to change. Or you are in a downtrend, but started to change the suddenly, you have so volatility market and your price is changing so fast. At the same time, 
no matter if you, if uh, the market volume is moving at the same direction. For example, if it's an upturn, let's say. So I, I gave you the different example, and now let's go to the chart. Let's say that you're in an uptrend, and in the uptrend, your start your price started the, the price of your asset started to change suddenly, and at the same time your market volume is increasing. When the market volume is slowly, slowly increasing normally, it means that your trade has enough power to continue its way, right? But, same as the previous example, if here the market volume start to increasing suddenly and so fast, and your price, your asset price also changing so fast, the market volatility is getting so higher volatility, you have so higher volatility in the market, it means that your trend is getting ready to change. If it's in an uptrend, it's going to be down. Or if it's a downtrend, it's getting ready to go up. And finally, there is another signal that you can use, especially in the stock market. The, the last example, you can use, actually in, in any market you can use it, but mostly we use it in the stock market, it's, it's much more useful in a stock market. When you have a range, when your asset has a range movement, it moves like, for a long time, it moves like, for example, let's say, $20, like $20 and $10. Your stock is moving between $10 and $20 for a long period. At the same time, you can see the market volume that it's down here, it's increasing slowly, slowly. Market volume increasing, slowly, slowly increasing. So your asset moves side movement and your market volume increasing slowly. It means that you are getting your your asset is getting for sudden move, move, uh, movement, or it will jump here. I mean the side movement. Next next movement either will be up, jumping so high, or it will fall so badly. So when you are in a side movement, when your asset moves in a range between two numbers for a long time. But at the same time, your market volume, the market that you're trading, the volume in the market slowly, slowly increasing, it means that your asset is getting ready for next big movement. Either it can be up or it can be uh, suddenly fall. It can fall uh, so badly to lower numbers. Uh, it was the general, um, patterns of what's the relation between the uh, trends in the side moment up or downtrend with the market volume. Other volume indicators that you can use in your technical analysis, as you can see in the picture, are money flow index, accommodation distribution or AD, and one balance volume or OBIT. Thanks for your attention and hope it was helpful for you. See you soon in next videos.